Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have an unboxing video from Ferris Wheel Press. So this is actually the first time I've purchased directly from Ferris Wheel Press, so I'm very excited to see how everything was packaged and look at some goodies. So I ordered two things for myself, and the rest are gifts for my mother for her birthday. So I'm just going to get right into it, and I think I'm going to just lift this out. Okay, that works. It looks like it might. Okay. So everything looks like it is very well cradled, which is good. Oh, very pretty. All right, so what I purchased for myself was the new Ferris Wheel Press ink from the Down the Rabbit Hole line. So I cannot wait to try this out. This will be in a future video. I also ordered the Sugar Beach Collection charger set for myself. Uh, I wanted a large bottle of the pink that is in this line and uh, I don't know, I the large bottle of the pink would be fun for me but I thought it might be more fun for everyone else if I had all three to try out and it was actually on sale so it was a good deal. But uh, these inks did not appeal to me as much as the other ones that I have purchased. The pink, however, really had me thinking early 90s beach days. And I think it's actually in their description, so that kind of cracked me up. But this will also be in a future video. And the rest of this is for my mother for her birthday, which is upcoming. So I'll have to post this video after her birthday so she doesn't see but I chose Storied Blue for her. Such a gorgeous box. She loves these gray tones a lot. She wears them, she likes them as accessories, and Storied Blue seemed a little on the romantic side, which I thought she would very much love. So that's one. I also picked a charger set for her, and don't remember what the name of it was. And I'm not seeing it on the box. So I will insert the name in the video, but I know it had some pretty tones. Let's see, since they will roll out, just be careful with them. If they have the names, ugh. Just the initials. That's very frustrating for me with the Ferris Wheel Press items. A lot of their products just have the initials. And uh, I really don't have time to remember my ink names by initials. Like, I, I want the name on the bottle. But anyway, that and I got her one of their roundabout rollerball pens. So she's not really a fountain pen person. She just doesn't have the time. But I thought she might enjoy trying out a rollerball pen. And I chose the Forget Me Not Blue. And I will take it out of the box. It looks like it can be taken out easily. Just want to make sure everything is good. Oh, that is such a pretty color. So it's just a plastic bodied rollerball pen. Nice and lightweight. Little Okay, this feels like something isn't quite connected. It doesn't want to connect. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was just stuck and not coming out. Okay. Rollerball tip. This is what was screwing. It was just like not screwing correctly for some reason. And this has a converter, so you can put whatever kind of ink you wish. It's like I've got some ink from something. Okay, yeah, that's going on tight. And it should just snap on. Yeah, I've actually used these before. My grandmother actually has some of these, believe it or not. So, yeah, I think my mom's going to enjoy this. She's not up for the having to clean it out and do all of that, which I totally understand. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if she likes it. And if not, well, she'll just have to pass it on to me. 
but it's packaged very nicely. Very pretty color box. They have that lovely art going all the way around. Ferris wheel press does that so well. It does have a, yeah, here we go, a diagram explaining what is in the box. Very cool. And I also chose one of their journals that matches. It's the same color, the Forget Me Not Blue. I really had a hard time deciding whether to get her one that matched or one that was complimentary, but they all looked so lovely. I haven't tried these yet. I would very much like to. She'll have to tell me what she thinks. But the color is just absolutely lovely. I mean, this is just so pretty. So, uh, I think she's going to like this. The aesthetic, even if she doesn't end up actually enjoying the pen itself, these are lovely things to look at. And I look forward to trying these new inks. Thank you so much for watching.